morning, y'all. Today is week one. We are six weeks away from mommy and daddy's first ever out of the state trip. And we are going to see Usher. And I'm excited. I want to get ready. I want to wear something cute there. And I also just need some motivation because I have not been on my fitness tip. Like not so much focused on like losing all the weight, but just on like moving and being healthy. And I was on maternity leave, I was doing so well. I was closing all my rings and then I went back to work and it's been really tough. So you're gonna join me, six weeks. We're gonna do a six week countdown. I'm going to exercise. I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna do some workouts with little one and with Callie. And you're gonna see me kind of balance life, all the things in life but focus on myself. I want the kids to see me working out. I want the kids to see how important it is to be active. Why is you're over here slapping me? Ooh. You see yourself? You can come with me today? We're gonna go for a walk and then we're gonna do some weights. Okay, let's go put our, our gym clothes on. Drop a comment below. Let me know, how do you guys maintain an active lifestyle? Like find time for yourself 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes whatever it might be i need some tips so what i have learned is if i don't go work out first thing in the morning it's a wrap it's just so hard for me to get the motivation later so that is what we're doing with cali i gained 40 pounds and then i lost about like 25 pounds 25, 30. Then I gained another 40 with Roman and I lost about 22 pounds. And so I'm just curious to see if I am consistent with my eating, with my activeness and exercise. It would be nice to lose like another 10 pounds. And I'm five months postpartum. So my goal was just not to stress out over it. I think before with Callie, I was spending my whole maternity leave, so five months, I was in the hospital. I was stress eating and I was not losing like any weight. I didn't lose most of the weight until like a year later. And so I'm not trying to stress myself out about the number on the scale, but I think it's just nice to see, I'm like one of those people, I like to see like the reward and see the number in a sense of motivation. I'm like a metrics person. I think it's the track side of me. It's like set a number, achieve it. So I'm not gonna overdo it, but 10 pounds at the end of six weeks would be nice. So that's my goal. So let's see where I am today. That's the number. So can we get to 178, 175 by the end of these six weeks? I think it's doable. Cause I was just 185 a couple days ago, but I had some ice cream y'all and some fajitas. I needed that. Okay, let's let's lay out the outfit and then I got a pump. Celery juice, Rome got me on this. I drink like 16 ounces every morning. It just flushes you out. And an hour after that, then I eat. So now I'm gonna go pump and feed Roman and then we're gonna get out the door and then come back and have the breakfast. Sometimes I switch it up, depends on how the morning is going. I might eat beforehand, but today I need after because I had a late dinner yesterday and I'm still, I might have a snack while we're walking. So we'll see. The mom cozy M5. I'm gonna pump on one side and let Roman eat on the other side. There we go, let's go get this boy. This is a nursing sports bra. It's amazing. I want some of that milk. Okay, you done? Ooh, look at all that good milk I got. Okay. We have popped, we are dressed. We finished my celery and then we are gonna eat. You want daddy to go? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. I have a bottle for the road. You never know y'all. They don't want to eat one minute and the next minute they want all the food. Uh-huh. Get some fresh air. Get some fresh air. Hi, buddy. Can go for a walk? Okay, you ready? You can go for a walk, okay? Mm -hmm. You guys see mommy exercise. Here we go. You ready to go for a walk? Are you ready? We're gonna work out, work out. Okay, you are 
actual what? What? 17 pounds. Ready? Set. So we are going to hang out with Ansley and Mitchell, a little play date, which I've been using e.l.f. Just some drugstore concealer. I got this from Sephora, the little free kits. YSL, mascara, my brow freeze for my eyebrows. And then these earrings, Mitchell and Ansley got them for me from Africa, y'all. So they went to Zimbabwe and they got Callie and Ansley these matching like, best friend bracelets. Like, Let's go see what Callie's up to. Okay, sweetie. Yeah. Oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> Why? Whoa! This girl. Put your hands up here. Thank you. And and leave. Oh my goodness. I think so too. Are you gonna go too? Ooh. If I go on, I think Kelly's gonna so much funner than I am. Yeah. <laughs> Can you shoot up, Kelly? There we go. There we go. I know, right? <laughs> you wanna go on the swing again? You wanna go to the slide? You wanna try to slide one more time? Kelly, come here. Ready to slide? You, more. Okay. Good signing. You can do it. Can you blow it for her? <laughs> we like bubbles, huh? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Ring, ring, go away. Another day. Callie okay, likes that song. I am trying a new gym. I'm trying solid core. It's Pilates. It's reformer. Working on the core, but gotta bring my mom cozy pumps in five. This is a sports backpack. So I can have my pump in here. I gotta bring a water. I'm gonna go out to the garage and get like a little mat and a towel. Got some snacks in here. Cause you know, when you were and mom working out, you gotta make sure it don't start leaking. <laughs> okay, they do they be leaking. Rob was making a face. Let me see the face she made. What you gonna say? Don't say nothing. <laughs> no, I made that face. <laughs> Bye bye, boo boo. What you doing over here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love you too. So I'm trying a new gym. It's about, it's not too far from home. So we'll see how it goes, but it's a perfect way on the way home from work to be able to stop. And it's a cute little neighborhood, but it's called Solid Core. So it works, it's like a Pilates with Reformer, which I've been wanting to try. I saw it on Class Pass, I'm like, ooh. But it just opened like a week ago, so they have this like new member deal. So I'm gonna try that, and then I might try class pass. But let's see how it goes. Dang! The other side of the door now. What is your name? All right, y'all. I just finished it. Ooh, that was hard. I really wanted something that was gonna target my core because, as you guys know, 
after having a baby, core is separated. So I wanted to take my time to do my own exercises. And now I feel like, you know, almost six months before them, I'm ready. And they had a lot of like modifications for you. It was good. I really am not like trying to do like hit like high cardio, but I really want to focus on strength. So, and it was something new, something different. I feel like that always is helpful for like a little motivation. And it's a brand new gym. So there's a lot of like great deals and meeting some new people in this neighborhood I've never been in. If you do it twice a week for two weeks, you get two extra weeks. So it will be part of my new regimen, I should say. Yes. Now time to get home because Rome was like, get home before seven so I can do my draft. <laughs> so I have, what, 45 minutes to get home, which will be fine. It is time for an evening workout, 9.09. <sighs> I realize I need to get some cardio in this week. This is the setup for the gym. Let's listen to my favorite podcast. One thing about working out is that there's so many things in life that can just keep you from moving, from moving to the gym. But I have no excuse because my gym is in my garage. And then I've just been trying to take out the thought process of like, it has to be an hour, it has to be all these things. No, when it could just literally be 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do 20 minutes of walking on the treadmill. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of weights for 10 minutes and call it a day because, or call it a night. <laughs> all right, here we go. It's football time. Wow. You ready? We got the little girl. Callie, come here. Can you jump, jump, jump? <laughs> yeah, go see Hawks. Yeah. Let's go. First, oh, this is your first game with the kids. Romy, yeah. this is your first game with daddy. End of the week, I'm any strong. I'm headed back to solid core. This will be my third workout here this week. I'm proud of myself. Got my walk in yesterday. Let's see if I feel any stronger on the third session compared to the first. Bye guys, good to see you. Okay, I did it. One week down, that was still hard. I think I'm gonna go for like a light walk to shake my legs out y'all because these legs, these legs are tired. I'm not even gonna weigh myself this week. I think I'm gonna wait two weeks. So the next video y'all see it, but I really just wanted to see if I can get into a really good routine and add more movement to my work week because I was really falling off. I set a strong foundation for week one. Now let's see if next week I can be consistent, keep it up and maybe add more outdoor walk would be good. Leave some comments below on ways you have got back into your fitness routine after having a baby or just after any big life changes because I definitely fell off and I'm ready to get back on. And thanks for following this journey. Five more weeks until Usher. My after workout, 20 grams of protein, plant protein, superfoods, and chocolate. Chocolate's the only way to go. All right, see you next week.